Hey guys, and welcome to the Igloo today. And today we are going to be talking about uh, one of my installs that I just recently did. Um, I'm very handy with what I do, and I was able to be in something called Solar City before uh, they converted over to Tesla. So I do know a little bit about uh, energy efficiency houses, and also I do a lot of reading up on it. But um, one of the biggest things that uh, has a lot of your bills when it comes to it is heating and cooling your space. More than 50% of your actual electric and gas bill comes to heating and cooling your environment. So because of that, one of these things that I just added to my system, as well as my um, hot water tank was going, is a heat pump water heater. Now, a heat pump water heater is something that is better than an electric version, but it's still electric. Um, it costs about $105 to operate yearly with just on heat pump only mode, not on energy saver or high demand mode. So what you have is uh, a Ream 50 gallon hot water heat pump tank, and it does three things. Now, normally I like having something that has three things that are able to be factored. Number one is that it cools your water. <laughs> Not cools your water, it heats your water. <laughs> um, number two is that uh, it dehumidifies your air. And um, especially in climates that are more needing of this, like in the south, um, inside your house, um, making sure that you dehumidify your air is very important because you don't want to have moisture buildup in your environment. So this could also assist on your dehumidifier in your basements. And it puts out as well cold air and you can not hook it up to your duct work per se, but um, that's because of coding, especially where I'm at up here. But technically you could be able to because the air is dehumidified and it takes the inlet from inside with its own filter. So with that being said, you could also duck it outside, um, but you would create a negative pressure environment or you can keep it inside or have it in your attic space if it is a sealed, uh, non-vented attic space. So I also have a sensor down here in order for it to actually like see the temperature differential. Right now it is based on the difference with this one zone system that I have in my place is that there's an ambient delta of about six to seven degrees between this room and then to the basement and then from the basement to the kitchen floor so i have the basement uh, which is technically ground floor on slab then kitchen then i have also the uh, bedroom floor which is technically the second story but it's the third story but i digress what this does is that it's able to pretty much be as efficient as possible and taking the ambient heat from the environment that's around it so that it can be able to extract the heat and then put it into the tank. Now you could also be having a circulation system where you're able to circulate all your hot water uh, pipes that come from all the points in junction from your house and then also bring it back to it. Now what I'm thinking of is in the winter time that I was thinking of exhausting it and then creating a negative pressure environment. But I want to be able to do some air sealing as well, which will be covered in the next video about uh, the radiant barrier. But this is one of my best investments that I'm able to do. Uh, you also don't need to have a negative pressure environment because, again, you're drawing air from the outside at that point. So, again, it all depends if you want to baffle the system to be open or not. But, again... One of the best things that you're able to do to save money, in my state, in New Jersey, you have $750 incentives from the electric company, and then $300 you can get written off federally. So with that kind of stuff being said, I hope you guys like this kind of content. Please leave a like and a comment down below. I didn't really like show an install video of this because otherwise it'd be like extremely long. And honestly, I hope you guys enjoy. Like, I have the Radiant Barrier. The Radiant Barrier and my Enderfit program, I will be saying, is a little bit longer than this. But again, have a good one, guys.